Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 20 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And this does not really look like Vanilla Super Flat Survival because we are obviously in the nether, right, right near the nether um, fortress that I found and this nether little uh, nether fortress base that I built. Uh, well, it's less like a base and more just like an outpost, so. Um, and I remember that I did bring the two doors with me, so I placed b both these doors here and here. And uh, so far, gas has been shooting at me, and they've almost burned this tower of wool down, destroyed this torch here, but did not destroy my door yet. So, it's holding up pretty well, and I'm still surprised how I was able to get all of my uh, armor back. So, I did lose some items, however, I think. Although, on the other hand, I don't think I did. Um, yeah, and I'll be stuck eating rotten flesh for probably most of the time, so... Yeah, now let's go and, uh, explore the nether fortress. Hopefully, let's get some diamonds, some nice loot, kill off some blazes, find some blaze spawners, get some blaze rods, uh, create some potion stands, and just stuff like that. Get some nether warts. Normal, good old stuff like that. Okay, no. No... No, no, oh, coal, that's rare. I actually think that instead of actually having to go down, I think that I'm going to have uh, just a simple crafting table right here. In addition, I'm going to craft a little chest right here, so just so I can place most of my valuables right here, like, uh, just so I don't have to go down every time I want to place something. Oh, we got the magma cube. That's great. Okay, now let's look around, make sure there's no wither skeletons, because they just really buck me very much. Okay, now let's hope we can get some really good magma cream out of that. I actually think that I should change to the regular sword, because... Oh, we already got one. Oh, yeah, these are the kind of slimes that I like. Actually, with magma creams, even the smallest one can do damage, so... Um, but just regular slimes, the smallest size of slimes can't do any damage. But actually, they drop magma cream so rarely of this whole slime that I killed. I have gotten XP and just one magma cream out of all that, so. Uh, since I'm so close, I guess I'll just go run back and place it into my chest right over here. It will be very useful for making some, uh, some of those fire resistance potion so yeah that's what I'm gonna use it for because uh frankly there's no other use for magma cream and that's good because what else is magma cream used for oh. okay now let's shoot this guest oh oh wow how did I just one shot kill him oh I think I already shot him before that's why it's a one shot kill uh, also, if I had a better bow enchanted with power uh, 4 or something like that, or power 5, I can one-shot kill every single ghast, so that'd be awesome. I'll have to make an enchanting table when I get my diamonds, so hopefully I'll have enough diamonds to make an enchanting table. And hopefully I'll get diamonds at all, because uh, most often I don't get any diamonds from uh, nether fortresses in the first place. Okay, let's hope we can get another magma cream from that. Um from that uh, slime over there. I actually don't remember how they're called, these slimes. Oh. Okay, now let's sure make sure. Oh, yes. Okay, did he drop anything important? Oh, nope, no heads at all. Well, I do very rarely get heads. Oh, we got some blazes there. Okay, is that... Oh, I just thought there was more mobs there. Oh, magma cream. I actually forgot how these are called. I really don't remember how these are called. I think they're called uh, nether slimes or oh magma slimes or or something like that. Haven't really looked at the Wikipedia page of nether mobs in a while. Okay, we do have that ma uh, magma cream over there. Uh, let's collect some more mushrooms right here. Looks like we might be able to kill that. Oh, there's also... Let's try to kill that really quick just so we can get some blaze rods. Oh, let's hope we could get one head. Please get one head. Well, I most likely won't get um, a wither skeleton head because those are very rare drops. Oh, wow. I did not even get any drops for any of those kills. Now, that's a bit discouraging. Oh, I forgot to do one protocol thing that I usually do is that I'm supposed to place uh, torches where I uh, go. So, everywhere where I've been, I have to place torches. So, 
I've been over there, I've explored over there, just so I know that I've been here, just so this doesn't seem like an area that I didn't explore. And also, I'm lighting this area up just so uh, it wouldn't spawn much mobs. So, But then on the other hand, I do want mob spawnages, because uh, I need those withers, uh, withers to spawn. But then on the other hand, I could make a wither farm, like a special spawner, and that way I could light up this whole area just to um, concentrate all the spawns into my special spawning um, chamber area. I actually really like that the when the Nether Fortress ends, it kind of it's like really organic, and by being organic, I mean is that it just does not end. It's like it kind of ends with these little kind of some blocks extend farther than others, and wow, the view from here is absolutely stunning. Okay, there's uh, there's lighting glitch there. Um, okay, now, there doesn't seem to be anything here. I guess I've just kind of gone into the section of the nether fortress where there isn't really much anything to do. I really hope that I can find some nether warts, because without nether warts, I can't find any... I can't do any potioning, so... Wow, this rotten flesh goes fast. I might have to start killing zombie pigment for some more flesh. But then that it probably won't be such a good idea because they'll just uh, all attack me at once. So, oh, there looks like there's a little cave there. Oh, actually, it doesn't really go anywhere. So, now if I do find more mushrooms, I can make mushroom stew, but I don't think that's a feasible option. But on the other hand, if I do start finding red mushrooms, I can craft up some mushroom stew. So, that'd be cool. And I haven't ate any mushroom stew in this episode yet. So, oh yes, this is where it ends right there. Wow, the nether is so beautiful. I really think it is. Well, just like the overworld is, but the nether has a specific beauty to it. Okay, now I'll go over there and explore that section over there. I think this is kind of like an artery, like this is the main area, and then there's many that split off, and then they split off and end. So I don't expect to find anything because every single of these tunnels will end. Yes, and like I predicted, this one ended too, so... Okay, there's a ton of these over there. Oh. Okay, good thing that I didn't get knocked over there. Unfortunately, one of the withers did get knocked down with the skel with the other skeletons um shooting, so that's what caused me not to be able to kill two wither skeleton and even though I don't like wither skeletons to spawn, I do want more of them to spawn because the more of them spawn, the more of the uh, and the more of them I kill, the more chances I get to get uh, the their heads to be dropped, which is an extremely rare drop. So I do have to have three of them to create the wither and fight it. So that's what I'm planning to do, and it's going to be really epic because I can start getting beacons and awesome stuff like that from that. So okay, now let's see if we got any drops from that. Um, Okay, we did get some bones, but other than that, I don't really see if we got anything like that. Um, yeah, looks like we did not get anything from the wither. Uh, we might have gotten the bones from either the wither or from the regular skeleton, I don't know, but uh, bones aren't that useful since we already have that mob grinder in our overworld growing, so that's not what I'm hunting for. Uh, coal is actually kind of an important drop for me from the wither skeletons because we can't get coal from... Oh... Oh wow, that's really that's a really good spawn for a blaze area because it's kind of underground and it's kind of isolated from the rest of the um from the rest of the fortress and usually there uh there are um, blaze spawners somewhere like in the center and like we are kind of on the edge of the nether fortress because there's the end over there there's the end over there and there's the end over there um and that's where the main part of the nether fortress is and that's very rare for such um blaze spawners to spawn so uh, far away and it makes it very easy to farm look at this area wow this is so easy to farm Oh, that's weird. Oh, and this is where I can hide just in case there's too many blazes spawned. Okay, I can already hear quite a bit of them. Okay, now let's hope that we can... We'll just shoot them from here. Let's hopefully get some blaze rods. We probably will. Uh, but they don't drop blaze rods that often. Okay, did that one just despawn or did it actually die? I think it died. Okay, I do have to get closer to kill that one over there. And also what's great about this is that 
usually the blazes would just run. Aw, oh, we didn't get any blaze rods. What's awesome about this, since it's encased in this area cave over here, is because usually when the blazes, when they spawn, they just start flying around and start shooting at you. Or, and then if I kill them using the bow, then if the, they do drop a blaze rod, it goes down to the lava and I'm not able to collect it. But for uh, spawners like these, they don't really have, they're really contained, so it's much easier to shoot them from far away. And it's also much easier to farm them, and it's and it's also much easier to kind of get the blaze rods from them because they are not able to escape. They're kind of cornered, so that way, oh, we're going to get a potion stand. Yeah. Now this is some, now, now this is really something. Now we can officially start potion making. That's our first blaze rod, so. I think this is something for a celebration. Okay, we have explored that area, we have explored. And we just have to explore this area here just to make sure. Uh, now obviously there isn't really anything fun here. Although on the other hand, we actually were able to get some... We were actually able to find some red mushrooms, so we can now go and craft some mushroom stew. So now we can have an, a food source here. Okay, I've actually always no also noticed that the gas can destroy nether, uh, nether brick, as far as I know. That's what I've seen and that's what I've observed. I'm not really sure. If you want an official conclusive answer, go on the wiki. Don't quote me because I might be wrong, but I have not noticed that... I have not actually ever seen them be able to destroy um, nether uh, bricks, so. Okay, now we have seven mushroom, and uh, how much uh, do we have? Oh, 12. So yeah, we, we are now able to create some more food from that, which is great. And it's funny, the first time that I said that there's nothing interesting in this section of the nether fortress is exactly when I found something interesting in this section of the nether fortress which is really nice but of course i'm not gonna craft it here i am just gonna return to my main crafting table over there uh just because just because um i don't want to craft more crafting tables and have them be all over the place okay we did have some more spawns over here let me just kill that real quick before it's able to shoot at me oh yeah it's a three shot kill now, I don't think we got any blaze rods. Oh, we actually did get blaze rods. What's interesting about the blaze rods and about mostly all mob drops is that when I kill a mob and then I see the XP, but I don't see any item laying on the ground, I think that the mob did not drop anything. But then as I approach it, the item kind of becomes visible. So, if you're standing... Oh, that's our last flesh. So, it seems to me that if you're standing a certain radius away from the... Wow. It seems to me that you're, if you're standing a certain radius away from the item, you can't see it. And that radius is larger for XP, since I can see XP before I can actually see the item appear. So, that's just an interesting uh, observation I made. So, Okay, yeah, this is what I mean by them flying up, because they just kind of start flying up. And then that way, if I k do kill them, they might drop the blaze rod not in the correct place. Okay. Wow, why? how is this... I'm getting only one-shot kills for some reason. Okay, now if there was a blaze rod, it might have fell down into there. And if there was a gas tier, it probably fell down into the lava as well. So, yeah. Okay, I'll have to explore that section too. But right now, what I think my number one priority will be is to just go back to my uh, main... Um, to my tiny base. And I'm not talking about the base, which is down there. I'm talking about the base that is up here. So, And then, of course, I got to craft that stew up so actually if there's too many mobs here I might create a little wall here and then put a door here just so it'd be safe against mobs um okay now let's do this let's do this oh my god oh my god okay did I just forget how to create oh uh, that's how you create a brewing stand I was afraid that I almost forgot how to create a brewing stand Oh, wow. Yes. We finally have a brewing stand. That is so epic. Now we can finally make some potions. But actually, before we can start making potions, unfortunately, we are going to have to get some... We're actually going to have to get some... Uh, 
get some nether warts because we can't we practically can't make any usable potions without nether warts so i'll have to go and check that out too and it's quite a long process making it's quite a long process to make uh, potions so what i really don't like about the mushroom stew is that it does not stack that's kind of the drawback of it but uh can't really do anything about it i guess i'll just have to carry this around with I guess I'll just have to carry this around with me, and every time I want to eat, I'll just have to craft up some more. Okay, I can place some more coal here. It's really cool that I'm able to obtain, like, coal, like, not charcoal, but just regular coal, just by using... Just by going into the, uh... Nether, into these nether fortresses, and collecting some coal from the... Uh, wither skeletons. And I'll have much more coal from wither skeletons as soon as I'm able to make an automatic farm which I will probably use for uh, the creation of uh, wither skeleton skulls oh my god oh baby a triple wow this is so amazing collecting all of the nether warts okay now we have almost exactly 43 of those so And I am going to collect this soul sand here just so I can farm. And I will create a small nether wart farm uh, in the overworld just because I need to farm the nether wart. So I guess for now I have gotten most of the things that I really wanted to get from the nether fortress. And I am kind of running out of torches. So, um, ev so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, maybe go home but oh actually no on the other hand i do have more torches in the chest in the nether and i oh, crap yeah i gotta be careful with that to make sure that no ghasts can hit me while i'm walking up there because that could be a fatality oh i actually don't have any additional um torch any additional torches here so I do have additional torches uh, in my nether base over there. I mean, my nether base where I have the nether portal. I mean, I do have uh, some more torches in my nether base where I have the nether portal, but I don't want to go there. So I think this episode has been long enough. Um, so, off-camera, as far as off-camera work goes, I'll think I'll run back to the nether base. I'll create a little, um, uh, nether wart farm in the overworld. I'll also... I might also farm some more blazes. I don't want to explore the nether fortress without doing it on camera because it's something that I want to film and I think you'll find interesting. So, I might farm the, the blaze spawner that I currently have over there and that I currently discovered, so... I just knocked it down. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This is Minecraftalix. Uh, stay tuned. This was episode 20 of Minecraft Vanilla Superflat Survival. Uh, I'll do some off-camera work. Uh, and in the next episode, in episode 21, I'll update you on all the work that I did. So I hope all of you are having a great day. And uh, see you all in the next video. <laughs>